Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. It's Romantic Week 27. Ah, uh, why is it romantic? Well, we are looking at a building that was built just to show someone's love. Wow, a whole building just to say, I love you. That is very romantic. What is it? It's called the Taj Mahal. There it is, the Taj Mahal. It's the most beautiful building in the world. But that's just my opinion. I have been there and it is amazing. That's a word that I use a lot, but the Taj Mahal really is the most beautiful place. It is the most famous building in India. India is really huge with so many beautiful places, but the Taj Mahal is the most famous. Now, what about the good words? We always have good words, but do you remember last week we talked about the Statue of Liberty and we used adjectives? Yes, of course, we have some more adjectives. Well, that's great. Oh, now, we could say big and small, but they're boring, aren't they? They're sort of words that we use when we're very young. And we have to get them in the correct order again. Hmm, that's very important. No one knows why we put them in an order. We just do. We have no idea who came up with these rules. But it seems to just make it sound better if we say the adjectives in a certain correct order. So there were different types. Hmm, that's right. They're not all the same. So we used three last week, three different types. We used opinion, size and physical quality. Hmm, what were they? Opinion, well, I use the word amazing, beautiful, it's your opinion. Maybe you think that a tree is beautiful, but someone else might think it's just big and brown. So it's your opinion, beautiful, size, that one's easy. Big, small, but we did use some better ones, didn't we? Huge, giant. And the physical quality, here we've got soft. So opinion, size, and physical quality. A beautiful, big, soft bear. Now, if we put those adjectives in a different order, a soft, big, beautiful bear. That's okay, but it just doesn't sound right. So get them in the right order 
and you sound like a real English speaking person and everyone will understand what you want to say. We have three more this week. After those first three, we can add more. Three more. Oh dear, don't worry. It's starting to get a lot now, isn't it? Three last week, three this week. That's uh, one, three, uh, six, isn't it? Yeah, six. The next three types are shape, age, and color. Ah, right, okay. My teacher's head is round, old, and grey. Hmm, well, that is a bit like me, really. Yeah, so we've got shape, round, age, old, colour, grey. So, those three types, I think they're easier. So these are adjectives number four, five, and six. Now, let's mix them up. We will add the first three in as well. So we're going to use some of the first three types. Yes. All right, so now we've got six. Oh, what? That's too many. Oh dear. Ah, okay. We won't use six in one sentence. That would be crazy. And it would make the sentence so long that it would be difficult to read. And that's not a good idea. It would almost be boring if we just use adjective 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 and more and more so we might use one three and six or two four and five so we won't use all of them but we will get the ones we use in the right order So, let's go to the Taj Mahal. Where is it? That's a good first question. So, we know it's in India. It's in the ancient city of Agra, which is a few hours south of the Indian capital of Delhi. It's near the north of India. So, our adjective there is about age. Ancient city. It's very, very old. Older than me. What is it? We know what it looks like, but what is it? Taj Mahal means crown of palaces. Wow, that makes it sound very important. It's actually a mausoleum, which is a place to put a body. Oh dear. Well, it looks beautiful, but that sounds a bit... So... When people die, there is a very important decision to make. What do we do with the body? Different societies and different countries do different things with their dead bodies. Here at the Taj Mahal, a big building was built and that's called a mausoleum. I think only rich people can buy and build a mausoleum. 
Is it old? The building was started almost 400 years ago. Now, is that old? Hmm. Well, if we think about dinosaurs being alive 150 million years ago, maybe it's not old. But if we think about, well, the house you live in, then the Taj Mahal is old. Hmm. So what do you think? Is it an old building? It was built by Shah Jahan for his beautiful young wife, Mumtaz Mahal. So Shah Jahan was a very, very important man. His wife, Mumtaz Mahal, was really beautiful. It is a real love story. The boyish Shah was just 15 when he met the girlish 14-year-old Mumtaz. Five years later, the youthful, bright teenagers were married. Now we've got boyish, girlish, youthful. They're all describing age. And then bright. Oh, they're happy. They're young. They're bright. But they're still teenagers. Very, very young. They really must have been in love. Were they happy? Well, I think I can guess the answer to this. They were very happy together and had 14 children. Wow, that is a big family. That's amazing. They must have been a very, very happy family. This huge immature family finally experienced disaster. Immature means young. So they're still quite young people, but they've had a very full life. But what is the disaster? What happened? In 1631, as Mumtaz was having her 14th child, she sadly died. That is terrible, terrible news. Shah Jahan was heartbroken. A long time ago, having a baby was quite dangerous. We're very, very lucky today. Our super doctors can really, really take care of mums and babies. But a long time ago, it was very difficult. Mumtaz had 14 children and the 14th was a terrible disaster. Can you imagine how the poor Shah Jahan was feeling? So what did he do? Is there any way that he can make himself a little bit more happy again? He decided to build the most beautiful memorial he could. He chose to build it on the gently curving banks of the chocolate brown river Yumna. The river Yumna is a very beautiful river. 
It goes through the ancient city of Agra. And Shah Jahan knew that he could make a beautiful place there. A beautiful place where no one would ever forget his wonderful wife, Mumtaz. A big project? Well, I think it probably was. Building started on the enormous project in 1632. Right, let's not forget there were no big machines to help in 1632. It required 20,000 workers and materials were brought in by 1,000 elephants. Now, they are big numbers. In 1632, the cities were smaller. So, just to get 20,000 people well, that must have been amazing to see. And have you ever seen one elephant? Have you ever seen ten elephants together? Maybe. But can you imagine one thousand elephants? Wow. Where did they put them all? How did they feed them all? This really is an enormous project. What was the design like? Different styles were used from all over the vast area of East and Central Asia. Huge square slabs of sparkling white marble were used. It must have looked amazing from day one. And it was decorated as well. The marble was decorated with tiny, intricate black, red and blue precious gems. We've got a wonderful word there intricate. That means small and beautifully carved and created. Really a thing of beauty. Ancient and modern poems also covered the walls. Now, the poems that are there now, well, they must be at least 400 years old. So, they were modern at that time. Now, did it take long? It's a big project, but there are many, many people working. The main tomb, with its amazing domed roof, took 12 years to build. Work was not finished. The tomb was surrounded by mosques and gardens. Let's look at some of those words. Tomb, that's the place where the body is. Domed roof. A dome is sort of like half a football. If you look at the top, of the Taj Mahal. You can see it's sort of round or half a ball. And mosque. A mosque is a place where Muslim or Islamic people go to pray. Why does it look so beautiful? Symmetry is so important in all places 
around the Taj Mahal. Long rectangular pools with clear blue water catch perfect reflections. Symmetry means it's exactly the same on the left as it is on the right. Exactly the same at the back as it is at the front. So did it take much longer? The extra buildings took another 10 years. By this time, Shah Jahan was quite elderly. Hmm. He's had a very full life, hasn't he? And nearly all of it has been about his beautiful wife, Mumtaz. He had more plans. Wow! Shah Jahan planned to build a jet black Taj across the river. This never happened because his son came to power and stopped it. His son really didn't want to spend any more money. So, I think father and son, they had a big disagreement. It really is the most beautiful place. It has been described as poetry in stone. Of course, it is a World Heritage Site because it is the jewel of Muslim art. Anyone that sees it falls in love with this amazing building. What about now? Now it is the most famous symbol of India and of love. Everyone knows where the Taj Mahal is and why it was built. So when should you go? The best time to visit is at sunrise. As the sun rises, the colour of the marble changes from deep red to pale pink to blazing white. I have visited at sunrise and it makes you feel quite emotional to watch this amazing building change as you are watching it. When the sun first appears, the marble is red with just a little light and then slowly, slowly, the red becomes pink and the pink becomes white. Wonderful. Now you must always show respect. When you visit, you should never sing, dance, drink or eat. You must show respect to the other visitors India and the memory of Mumtaz Mahal. It's a very, very important place. A place where you can go and think about beauty, about love. Now, not so many adjectives this time. What did you see? Shape gently curving and domed. We had others like rectangular. So shape. That is adjective number four. What was number five? Age. Boyish. Ancient. We also had girlish and elderly. Colour. 
jet black, pale pink, deep red. So what's next? Could there be any place in the world better than the Taj Mahal? Well, I don't think so, but we will look for one. Hmm, the Taj Mahal. It really is the most amazing place. If you ever get the chance to go, you really must. So, where's next? Who knows? But I hope we see you soon. What do these two guys want to say? Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.